hello so i'm gonna do a quick video on robin hood how i started investing and how i made a couple thousand dollars in less than a month i started out investing very little couple bucks here and there i was getting the airlines and i had been hearing a lot from people buying bitcoin buy bitcoin buy bitcoin so i was like hmm, i do have some extra money i like the option of being able to sell them instead of the ira roth or wait her will you know what i mean you have to wait until you're retired 65 i don't want to wait 28 years and have my money locked there if i need it earlier so i started buying some stocks thinking oh i'll just leave it there and wait when I need it, I'll take it out. Or when it goes really up high, I'll take it out in like 10 years. I don't know, a couple years. So I keep hearing about Bitcoin, but Bitcoin is 32000 a share. So I'm like, oh, I buy a couple. Then I was like, hey, how about I buy the ones that are really low? And I would check how much money is in their um, company. Also, do they go up and down? What's the 52-week highest? So most likely they're going to go up again. So Dogecoin was one of the crypto money and it was only 0 0.001. And I was like, oh, I can buy a lot. So I bought some. Then I was like, I'm going to buy more because I saw it was going up a little bit. And last week it went up to 0 0.049 and I had almost 50,000 shares. So I made $2,000 on a $400 investment or $1,900 more exact. So I took it out thinking it went up max. So this week it went up 0 0.08. So I could have made $4,000, but it's okay. Like my mom says, better one bird in your hand than two flying. And I can always um, buy them again when they go down and then sell it. Sounds too good to be true, right? But also only do it if you have extra money that you're willing to lose because you could it could go down. I bought twenty dollars of AMC stocks and now they're ten dollars. So I lost ten. But I'm not taking that out because there's so many people investing in AMC and talking about it that it's gonna come back. And if I lose it's only twenty bucks. But there's some people investing a lot on AMC. So I'm gonna show you my screen and then you can see a new trick I just learned today. I was like, well, if Dogecoin goes up to 0.8 again, I want to sell it. But I don't want to be glued to the screen the whole day. So I don't know if it's new or if I just didn't realize. So I put that in and I, uh, when it hit oh, uh, 0.08, it sold automatically. And I got the money. And then now I put it, if it gets below 4, I want to buy. So... I did that automatically so I don't have to worry. Even though it's so addictive, I'm going to flip the camera so you can see my account. So Dogecoin, here is my screen. Oh, you can still see me. So see, um, right here is the live. So you can see the time and how much was it at that time. You can go, it went down. And then here you can see, so it went down 0, 0, 1, 2. Wow. And then I should change my purchase and it went up to 8, 3.4. Okay. All in the past, it's like live. In the past day, it went all the way down to 0, 0, 2, 1, to all the way to 8, 4. So here is like my equity. 527 I paid 65 for it and that's how much it grew today's return was $36 and here 461 total return since I started and uh, I have 6,583 they cost 0.01 and they went up so much. So this is what I did. It's called the limit sell. And I have the limit buy. So apparently I already bought it. So limit sell at 16 hours. I said if Dogecoin gets all the way up to 08, I want to sell. So I sold this much shares. 
So it says it was done. Enter amount, 237. And then here to buy, I said if it goes down to 0 0.03, I wanted to buy 399.99. And then I'm gonna say I wanna sell when it gets high. If I need the money or I can keep doing that. So this is how you do it. You would go here on the right side. I usually use my my um, phone, super easy. So I'm gonna say I wanna buy Dogecoin and you can do the order market order. It would be right now, the price is 0 0.079, it's changing. So close to eight. I'm gonna say limit order. So I want the Dogecoin, if it goes to 0 0.01, I'm gonna say I wanna buy $300. So then it's gonna be, yeah, or even 400 because it's if it goes that low. So if you purchase 400 Dogecoin, you lose access to your gold buying power. You can buy up to 276. So I'm not sure what the, the rules are right there, but I have to sign up for that and I don't wanna sign up. So let's do 250. If you're placing a limit order to buy two hundred fifty Dogecoin, your order is recorded, or and one or better. Okay, done. So that way, I don't have to be sitting here all day checking that out. So this was the best one, and I made. As you can see here, I sold. And here, it's when I sold the most. I sold 20000 and I made 999 So that was amazing. Sorry about that. And then, see, I bought them back in January. And I'm gonna go back to my portfolio so you can see. So I bought a bunch of shares. Siri, and here on this three little dots, you can go less price, your equity, today's return, total return. I like keeping on the total return so I can see how much money I'm making. So Siri's down. This is a uh, Go Airlines I bought. See, I have nine shares. And then American Airlines, and they're all going up. GoPro, four shares. This one's hotels. So there is a bunch of. And then the ones I made the most money definitely was the cryptocurrency. Here, the cryptocurrency. As you can see, Dogecoin, I have 6,000 shares because they were so cheap. And then less pricey. 0.08 the other ones cost more and then your equity today's return the total amount I have and if I want to sell one of them I can I like seeing if I made money on that total return so this one yeah I might keep it I have 79 shares but the one that's the best so far is the Dodge coin. And then you can also do recurring, like American Airlines and Go. I have them every month to do automatically $1. That way, in case they forget. So, it's nice. And then you'll tell you, like, dividends for this um, Brazilian bank. And then Pfizer, I bought some too. And you can reinvest. Also, there is a new, here show the recurring ones. Um, they will reinvest your money too, if you have money on there. So here it can show you stocks and options. I have not done the options trading, keep their currency and how much cash I have. So it just gives you a little map of all. 
I try, they always say diversify, buy a little bit of everything. So showing here which stocks I have, average cost, total return, equity. So you do get all this information a little bit easier to see on the computer. I bought hotels, some Nokia, like some people said, or food ones. And I figured because of COVID, they were gonna be cheaper and also Pfizer because they made the vaccine. And here is the cryptocurrency. And here, how much money I can take it out. So it's really 